After the decoys are created, we'll go back to the subnet page and we'll configure the breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs are the pieces of information that we put on the real assets that will lead the attackers from the real assets to the decoys. In order to create those, we click here, and basically the system will suggest the breadcrumbs that match this subnet based on the assets that you have and based on the decoys that you're created. So here, these, these breadcrumbs are suggested. A putty will lead to an SSH-based decoy. Uh, shared folders will lead to a decoy that has shared folders on it. Uh, terminal clients will lead to a, a RDP, to a Linux that has a Windows uh, remote desktop service open on that. Once we create a breadcrumb, uh, this is a breadcrumb generator script. Once we create that, we can either run it manually on our Windows, on each of the Windows uh, using Windows SCCM, or you can run it um, by uh, using the Fidelis endpoint solution that automatically deploys and distributes the breadcrumb to the endpoint. Now, once we have both the uh, decoys and the breadcrumbs, the system is basically uh, luring attackers in order to interact with them, with the decoys. There are additional ways to publish the decoys. Uh, we have network-based uh, network uh, traps where we, the decoys send out false information in the network that will lure attackers in to try to attack them. And we also have Active Directory deception where the decoys will use fake activity and report login activity to the Active Directory. So now any attacker that's in your network, if he goes to the Active Directory or if he does any network noise, uh, he'll be able to find the decoy and he'll um, uh, and then we'll catch him while he interacts with it. 